All the Chromebook people, you are going to love me after this video. How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to hook up a Zebra LP2844 thermal label printer with your Google Chromebook. This is a tutorial. I did not see any other information about this on the internet. Hopefully this will help somebody out there that has a Google Chromebook that has been frustrated with the lack of information. It did take me some trial and error, a couple hours of research, tinkering, finding uh, files. So I do appreciate your guys' time. And if you appreciate me making this video for those out there, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching. Let's go into the computer. And then make sure your printer is in the off position, which the switch is pressed down. Now, you're going to hold the front button, turn the power on, it's going to start blinking red, you let go, and then you will see that it starts going duh, 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 duh. It is calibrating, the sensors in there are trying to read the distance between the media, so it's going to take 20 to 30 seconds. It's gonna print out three blank labels and then an information label at the end. You'll press the feed button one more time and it should be done calibrating. Just like that. So we got three blanks, it got some information, and then the out of dump was our last. And now if we press that front button, it should advance one label. And now if we press that front button, it should advance one label. And we are good to go. All right, we are here on the Chromebook, actually recording the Chromebook with the camera. Bear with me, there is not really any good apps that I've found that are free screen recordings for the Chromebook. So we're going old school. First thing you're going to want to do is open up a browser, Google Chrome, whatever, and you're gonna go to this website, fulfilledmerchant.com. I will put a link to it in the description. Actually, I'll put a link to the directly to the post that will contain the file that we're going to download. And believe it or not, this is a website that I'm starting. This is going to be my first blog post. Right now it is complete garbage, but I am parking the file that you need for this setup right here. Ignore all of this uh, crap. Just this is the file that you need right here. I will put a link directly to this page in the description for your ease. Or if you go on the Fulfilled Merchant website, you go to that little search bar up there, you could type in Zebra and enter and it should come up with my Zebra LP2844. So you're gonna click this button that says here, that little link, hit download, no preview available. It's going to download this PPD file, which we are going to use in a little bit. But for now, we're just gonna hold off on that. Get to your printer. There's a cord plugged into the printer. Then you're gonna plug the USB cord into your Chromebook. Make sure the printer is turned on. You should get this pop-up notification down here for the Zebra LP2844. You can see right here in the printers, it has a Zebra LP2844 USB. Ignore the other ones. Those are other printers that are on my network. So we're just gonna set this printer up. You're gonna skip manufacturer, you're gonna skip model. You're going to specify PPD. You're gonna hit browse. And then you're gonna browse to your downloads folder and find that zebra.ppd. And the PPD is the postscript printer description. It's how Chromebook is going to communicate directly with the printer. So we're gonna install that. So that should be installed. Highlight that, click open, and then we're going to go down here and click add. And it added the Zebra LP2844. You are going to need some sort of sample label or a four by six shipping label in order to do your first test print. I have this sample label. You wanna make sure whatever platform you're gonna be using, eBay, Etsy, Amazon Merchant Fulfilled, whatever, you're gonna have your settings on four by six. So your label should look like this. From the platform itself, your label should look like this four by six, not the eight and a half by 11 half sheet. Otherwise, it's not gonna work correctly. I have a separate video for that that I will eventually link in the description. It's not created right now, but hopefully in the future it will be there. And that shows you how to how to set it up for Poshmark, for eBay, for Etsy or whatever to get it in the 4x6 format. It, you have to tell the platform, I want it in 4x6 format. For Mercari does not have a 4x6 label format yet, but hopefully they will one day. But anyways, get your sample label, uh, hit Control P, your file print. It's going to come up right here. You're gonna go to more settings. Make sure that it says index four by six. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. We're going to hit print. 
It's going to send a file to our printer through space. Makes a little bit of noise, but that's okay. And just like that, we have a thermal four by six shipping label that we printed off of a Chromebook. It's a pretty easy setup. You can stick that right on your package, be good to go. And just like that, and it is indeed possible to hook up a Google Chromebook to a Zebra LP2844. I don't think that Dymo has a PPD and you also can hook up the Z model, but the Z model is a little bit harder to tweak with the settings. So I do recommend the LP2844 um, for the Google Chromebook. Sorry, the Dymo doesn't work. I don't think the Rolo works. I don't think any of the brother printers work, um, but you can always also use as an alternative, just a normal, uh, a normal laser printer, a normal inkjet printer that is Google Chromebook compatible. There should be a list of that somewhere on the internet. And if I find one, I'll put a link in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.